Well, hi, Dave. Welcome to my pumpkin patch. I'm Farmer George McCord. Now, some people call me the pump king because my pumpkins have taken home the blue ribbon at the county fair for 35 years in a row. Now, I think that's a little silly to make such a fuss over me. It's no secret to know when a pumpkin is ripe for the picking. You just got to ask it a Bible question. If the pumpkin knows its Bible, then it's ready to go. You can make it into a pie, paint a face on it, or enter it in pumpkin junkin' competition. Whatever you need it for, it's ready. Here, I'll show you. You can help me pick out some pumpkins to take to the fair this year. I'll call out the name of a Bible character, then we'll look at three pumpkins with facts about that Bible character. Two of these facts will be wrong. Those pumpkins aren't ready yet, but one will be correct. That pumpkin is ready for the fair. All you have to do is shout out one, two, or three for the pumpkin with the right answer. We can even make a game out of it. If you get it right, you're still in the game. If you're wrong, you can keep playing, but just take yourself a seat. We'll see who can stay standing for the whole game. All righty then, everybody on your feet. Let's look at our first three pumpkins. Yuck. Our first Bible character is Joshua. Now, which of these is true about Joshua? One. Joshua wrote the Ten Commandments. Two, Joshua was a king. Three, Joshua led Israel. Remember, shout out one, two, or three based on which pumpkin you think is correct. Okay, time's up. Who said pumpkin number three? You're correct! Joshua led the Israelites into the promised land. Good job! Looks like this pumpkin is ready to go. Let's try another question. Our next Bible character is John the Baptist. Now, which of these is true about John? One, John baptized Jesus. Two, John never ate honey. Three, John was Jesus' brother. Remember, shout out one, two, or three based on which pumpkin you think is correct. Okay, time's up. Who said pumpkin number one? That's right. Nice work. Looks like we've got another pumpkin ready to go. Let's check out three more pumpkins. Now our Bible character is Gideon. Now which of these is true about Gideon? One, Gideon led an army of 300 men. Two, Gideon was a prophet. Three, Gideon was king of Israel. Remember, shout out one, two, or three based on which pumpkin you think is correct. Okay, time's up! Who said pumpkin number one? That's right again! You really know your Bible, and so does this pumpkin. Let's take a look at three more pumpkins. Our next Bible character is Solomon. Now, which of these is true about Solomon? One, Solomon was David's father. Two, Solomon was David's son. Three, Solomon was David's brother. Shout out one, two, or three based on which pumpkin you think is correct. Okay, time's up. Who said pumpkin number two? That's correct. Solomon was David's son and became king of Israel after David. Great work, everybody. All right, we've got three more pumpkins to check out. Our next Bible character is Elijah. Now, which of these is true about Elijah? 
One, God fed Elijah with kangaroos. Two, God fed Elijah with lions. Three, God fed Elijah with ravens. Shout out one, two, or three based on which pumpkin you think is correct. Okay, time's up. Who said pumpkin number three? You are correct. When Elijah was hiding in the wilderness, God sent ravens to bring him food. Well done. All right, we've only got one more set of pumpkins to check out. Our final Bible character is Abel. Now, which of these is true about Abel? One, Abel was Adam's son. Two, Abel is not in the Bible. Three, Abel was one of the 12 disciples. Shout out one, two, or three, based on which pumpkin you think is correct. Okay, time's up. Who said pumpkin number one? You are correct. Great job, everybody. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I could go for some pumpkin pie right about now.